Hi lovelies, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors. Um, I saw this deck online um, a few days ago and just felt that I needed to get it for some reason. It's an oracle deck, it's called um, Sacred Rebel and um, it's by Alana Fairchild and I think I've got one other deck by this lady but um, the artist work is by Autumn Sky Morrison and it's a guidance to living a unique and authentic life and I just thought I'd like to do an unwrapping um, for you guys so that you can see what the deck's like it was delivered this morning um, this is it's a nice box actually I quite like how sturdy the box is and um, I've been tr I did try with my nail to undo the cellophane but it didn't work so I'm kind of like hoping if I just start it off I'll be able to pick at the cellophane and get it off so you can see that I've not fiddled with it look at that and the box lovely nice and shiny new box and let's have a look at the cards um yeah I've seen reviews online before um, and I just thought that it might be something that I could add to angels and ancestors. So there's a bit of a protective sheet between the top of the box and um, the book. The book is very nice, I have to say. It's a nice size. It is a pro properly published book with all of Follow Your Own Rhythm is one. The artistry, when I saw the artistry on this, I'd, I've got an oracle deck that I absolutely adore. Um, I use the Angels and Ancestors, as you know, because I, I think that they're very good for our um, readings. But I do bring out the Gaia deck at times, and the artistry on that is stunning. But this, when I saw this, I just could not resist. Let's leave the book somewhere where you can see it. Is that visible to you guys over there? Let's have a quick look on the camera. Yeah, brilliant. So there's the box lid. Let's stand that in there so you can see that. And then this is the deck. So it's just undo the deck. Look at the back of these cards they're not gilded but they feel very nice they've got a nice weight to them i think they're going to be nice to shuffle i've got very tiny hands or very small hands and i do have problems with the larger decks like the blessed bee deck but look at that beautiful artistry you've got the universe you've got the ocean um just everything is there you've got the dna strand in there you've got the third eye just i swear when i saw these i just thought i like this picture i did use this picture on one of my um social media pages i think i used it on um tumblr for a while but it is a picture that i absolutely love because it is um the generations it is the maiden mother and crone or whatever you want to call it but it's the three um generations going forward so let's just have a look at the cards oh they're all different colors as well look at this you have after the storm this beautiful owl how gorgeous is that and then number two is inner trust what a beautiful picture And then we have, and what I'll do is at the end of this, we'll pick out one one or two cards and we'll look at the actual meanings and see if you've picked up. I think they're so new that they're stuck together. Um, we have inspiration. We have against the grain. That's a beautiful card. Beautifully done. And then we have follow your own rhythm. How gorgeous is that? And then we have shock, 
of the new say that beautiful and then the, the deck that this picture on here is actually in the deck and this says legacy of light that's gorgeous I always see this as um, these two generations are still here and this generation is in spirit overlooking um, the two generations so legacy of light would be right it's the passing down from spirit into um, our reality so then we have be the hunter not the hunted that's a different one on me do you know so these cards are just gorgeous but they're stuck together guys and then you have a little black and white one here I think there's two that follow each other and that's what do you feel and then we have releasing allegiances that might be one I'm going to put that out to one side because I think that I'd like to know what that actually means oh and then we've got diving for the light and then oh look at this one beautiful and it says every journey starts with a single step how gorgeous is that and that's not just going to be a physical journey that's definitely a spiritual journey in fact that sweeping around here reminds me of an angel's wing could be a tunnel but i saw an angel's wing straight away oh this is gorgeous power this was one of the cards that sold me on it as i don't normally like these sort of things but look at this card power of attraction how amazing is that and then going beyond the normal and then we have big bold vision what you want wants you wow what an amazing card that is and I love that these, there are some that are edged um, in this colour. Like, can you see the edges are all different colours? But there's some edged in just a slightly lighter colour than that. But they've all got their own little colours around the edges. So this is what is already with you. Wow. And then it says spirals of manifestation. And this one is dream a beautiful dream. These are stunning, stunning cards. I'm so pleased that I sent for these. Softly, softly, the tender touch. Isn't that amazing? Look at that card. I'm just blown away with the artistry. And then what's on the back here is one of the cards within the deck. I just want to make sure it's not two. It says beyond the mind, the heart beats. That just describes that beautifully, doesn't it? It really, really does. And then we have, she feels, she knows. Let's turn that up the other way. And then you've got this, honestly, the artistry is just amazing. And you've got, defend to the end, the worthwhile. Oh my gosh. These are completely different to any of the other oracles that I have actually got in my collection and then you have this beauty card and it says new birth guarded vigilante I want to know what that one means so I'm going to put that in the second pile I might have to run off and get some glasses in a second because I left them on the other desk 
so my lovely she got this cup this this to me is amazing it's release the dark wound and let love live now I used to keep koi carp and one particular little koi was the colour of this carp and he used to swim and lay in my hands um, many, many, many years ago. Um, but he was a delight to have in the collection because he was the one that really, he, he had faith that I would not take him from the water um, and he allowed me to hold him within my hands I mean that is just pure trust isn't it in itself um, so yeah he he was wonderful so um, I love that card beautiful and then the next one look at this this is amazing it looks like somebody is beaming me up Scotty isn't it and it says relax the hold on darkness and beat calls Oh, and be at calls. So let's get that one as well because that is unusual. And then we've got receiving. Uh, beautiful. This just gorgeous artwork. Gorgeous artwork. Collaborate. Collaborative dreaming. Look at that. Beautiful. Seeing the true you. If I'm getting separated from the other card, you will. Seeing the true you. Do you know what? I would love some of this artwork on my walls, to be perfectly honest with you. And then you have got the perfection of your life. Is that nice one? These cards are beautiful. The thickness is really nice. This is trust yourself. And I'm sorry there's a bit of a, a glare on it. I put the light on because the sun hasn't quite come out yet. And this one says faith in the process. And then we have, oh it's one of my favourite signs, heaven sent. Heaven sent beautiful and then we have in the world not of the world wow I want to see what that one says this is going to end up being a bit longer than I thought lovelies so consciousness connections or conscious connections I should say listening for the truth focus on the light restore and replenish free from judgment free to love isn't that beautiful look at that I'm just blown away by this whole deck I really am Sacred Fall. That would be another nice one. I think I've got the idea of it, but let's just um, have a look. Bring into form. I'm going to put that on that pile as well. There's only going to be a quick overview of um, what it is, but I'm just blown away uh, by this deck. I really am. The word wants to be written. That's a lovely one as well, because sometimes as humans we kind of have a fleeting thought and we forget to write it down. And then for the rest of our lives we're going to go, we go, what was that that I thought of and I never wrote down? Come to life. Now that's an unusual one, isn't it? So we'll have a look at that. And then visions of life be beyond death. And then Pandora's Gift. Well, so how many cards is in that deck? There's 45 cards in the deck. They feel beautiful. They feel absolutely beautiful. So, let's just splay them out a little bit so you can see 
that the edges are all completely different. It's different shades, different colours. Um, yeah, just just beautiful. I am so impressed with this deck. I'm just going to go and get the glasses. So let's have a quick look at the book. And it says, this oracle is dedicated to those who aren't afraid to rattle cages, ruffle feathers, rock and rock boats from a place of loving service to the spiritual evolution of humanity. May your rebellious heart beat with the power of the divine grace and may your soul thrive as together we create a world that is fully awakened to love. How gorgeous is that? I'm just going to read this first paragraph because it's quite nice. And it says, Sacred rebels know that even if something has always been done in a particular way, a better way can always be found. Sacred rebels question the way that things have to be. They dare to dream of a healthier world based more in love than fear, where it is possible to live your dreams and manifest your heartfelt visions and life is nourishing rather than a constant struggle or drain. Sacred rebels believe in love and defy those who say you need to live your life in the real world. Rebels are living the real world. There is a world, there is a world of love possibility individuality and freedom sacred rebels refuse to put down be put down by those who f who are frightened of being truly alive wow beautiful words from our alana beautiful words so it does explain to you in the introduction about working with the deck and right at the beginning it gives you um some layouts this is the egg um, and this is number one is guidance for a new life creative awakening happening for me now number two is any blocks or issues I am working with to allow this to happen um, number three at the top is the gift that is coming to me through the process number four guidance of interacting with the outer world during the process Five is a message from my higher self and spiritual guides on this matter. And six is guidance bringing the process into practical manifestation in my life. So then we're going to go to um, the messages. I'm just going to check how... Okay. I don't think I'm going to have time to read the whole thing about these because if you look let's get to number 10 this was the first one that we thought we'd have a look at this goes on for quite a while so it explains it's time to hold on to yourself and to let go of another even if it's just for a time you have gained all that you have meant to from this connection. So this is releasing alliances. Let's put that there so you can see it. Um, the need to let go does not deny the value of what's been acquired. It's more that the time has come for a greater productivity, creativity, abundance and consciousness in your life. So it goes on to explain what that is. And then it goes on about the creativity, the self-discovery um, and all the rest. Of it. But then it tells you about a healing process. And it says, lie down somewhere comfortable and relaxed and say, I love my body and my body loves me. Trust my body and my body trusts me. And I love wisdom and wisdom loves me and trust wisdom and wisdom trusts me and it tells you to go on to a visualization 
So it's all about the healing process as well as the actual cards. So I can say that using these are going to be slightly different. So the number 24 was about the new birth guarded vigilante. Let's see what the beginning of that says. And this says, in every creative process, in every, and that's number 24, um, in every birth, in every opening of a new cycle of life, there is a time of vulnerability. The vulnerability is natural and appropriate. It is the foul learning, or the foul learning, sorry, to become steady on its legs. Those legs will become remarkably powerful in time. The process of growth and maturity has to take place and this requires some wobbly attempts at first. It cannot be any other way. So that is, I don't know what the guarded vigilante is. Life is emerging like a vibrant green shoot. That's the green shoot. Rising up from the earth. So that goes through a healing process as well, like a meditation. Okay. Do you know what? I am going to give these a go, but I'm going to do um, a reading from these. I'm going to try and read the whole book and then do a reading from the whole deck and see where it takes us. Um Number 26, which is this beautiful card here where I said, beam me up, Scotty. It says, Dear Sacred Rebel, this moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you have possessed um, that in bucket loads. Yep, nice wording. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires more absolute trust um, and a heart that is surrendered to the greater heart of the universe so life can happen to us, through us and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things are happening quickly and according to the bold, loving optimism, there is reality not only of potential but manifestation of the great big cosmic yes so this is actually a yes card and we talk about yes cards all the time um in tarot so that's nice to get a yes card in that deck and then we have number 34 in the world not of the world and i kind of get the meaning of that but Let's just have a quick look. This is just to give you a very quick oversight into some of the cards. But it does go on on each card about the healing process and what you can do. And the healing process on this one is quite quick. So I'll give that a read as well in a minute. So this says, it is safe for you to become naked with life. This doesn't necessarily mean stripping off and running around wild in public. It does mean stripping back your beliefs, strongholds and mental or emotional security blankets so that you can live with less obstruction than ever before. Imagine the conditioning that has kept us kept life away from you. Just keep drop just kept it dropping out of your hands like keys, coins or clocks. Conditioned beliefs about money, time, security, having, locking away, holding and controlling can be surrendered and allowed to fall away. What would it be like to feel through you were a holiday every... Okay, yeah. What would it like to fit... What would it be like to feel as though you were on holiday every day? Perhaps there would be a softening in your way with life and an implicit trust in its flow and faith in the ability of time to bend and stretch as needed so that all may be accomplished. 
So that's a really nice card. And the healing process for this card is very simple. It says, imagine, so this is another meditation as far as I'm concerned. Imagine you're running naked into the sea, ocean, river or waterfall to be cleansed. Feel it happening. Be with it and enjoy the sensation of it. Feel freed of any weight that you no longer need, be it physical, emotional, mental or spiritual. Let it go on all levels. When you are ready, just open your eyes and rest for a few moments before going back into your day or evening. You have completed the healing process. Do you know something? These are, these are so beautiful that I actually might introduce them into um, the readings as a um, what you can do for this week to go forward and heal. Let me know what you think, guys, because that would be amazing, wouldn't it? So, we have got number 40. Number 40. That's this one, and this is the Sacred Fall. Let's put in there. And this says, the fool is a great rebel, able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint. Your heart is wonderful, powerful, sacred fool. It cares not for the right way to do things. It cares not for what the mind says is real and not real. It lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated or controlled by anything. It loves, it lives and it is what it is very nice obviously it goes into more detail than that but this is just a quick overview of what it is that you've got the healing process on this it just starts off and says i call upon the sacred fall of unconditional love please help me access the lightness of spirit your wisdom your ability your to exist in the heart of truth to be powerful without becoming attached to or obsessed by power i honor your vision i may see and know so truly and be free i choose of my free will to give you absolute permission to just be myself now and always through unconditional love mercy compassion so be it well it's a much more powerful deck then I was giving it credit for. I was just attracted to it so deep. And I'm so glad I got it. Because it's just, just beautiful. So we're going to go to number 41. Which was this one with the legs. Very nice legs as well I might have to say. Um, bring it into form it says. So beautiful dreamer. You can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now is the time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. And I guess that's what all these little, um, I'm kind of guessing that they're supposed to be fireflies. They need to, oh, what is it? They need to be more than ideas. They need to live to manifest. The world needs not only your dreams, as beautiful as they are, but your creations. Get thee to thy desk thy easel, thy computer, work beautiful dreamer, don't just dream, create, how gorgeous is that, how lovely is that, beautiful, I always think of the page of cups in that way, in the green witch deck, I'm not saying it's in other decks, but in the green witch deck, that's what I, that's the feeling I get from the page of cups in the green witch tarot deck, um, that you're being asked to return to what feeds your soul. So that's really nice that that gets um, an, um, a kind of okay from that. So the healing process for this card, this one here, says relax and follow your breathing as it flows in and out. In your own time, imagine, sense or perceive that there is a beautiful light sparkling, twinkling, like a, a shining star this is the light within the center of your heart what color does it feel like what energy does it have what feeling or emotion and then it goes on to take you through a meditation 
so lovelies the last one that I picked to have a quick look at was this one here where the monkey is and she I think that's honey that they're pouring down her leg um, so it's come to life is this beautiful card let's just put it there and that is number 43 and come to life says this is just the beginning bit you are the most sacred of all sacred artworks you are bringing yourself to life now and this is how it must be of course something being essential does not mean it always will be easy you must support yourself and have the courage during this process your monkey mind is not to run the show it might have it might have a lot to say and at times it seems very convincing but it's not the one in charge your mind can inspire you with ideas however it is real it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious sacred heart and living your life not the monkey mind the mind is not much more than a swirling Cassophony, I don't even know what that word means, of habitual reactions. Beneath the habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, energetic awakening happening to you. It is far beyond what the mind is capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it shakes things up, comes to life and tends to do that. However, it is happening now and the only real choice you have to make is how to deal with it. Wow. Let's have a look at the healing bit of that one. Oh, crikey, that done off. Go on a bit. Right, so the healing process, just the beginning bit. It says, lie quietly and play some beautiful music that you love. Allow to move through your body as though the sound is pure energy and you are the light as and you are as light as air let the sound feel good let the cells receive the sound energy feel the music rattle in your body as if they are sound waves making your cells vibrate they are let there be life and then it goes on to to take you through that meditation lovelies listen what a beautiful deck beautiful artistry i am going to try and incorporate it into the readings i've already done um one lot of beltane readings they're up and ready to go um putting them up for sunday evening um and your weeklies have already gone up so i'm going to play with these for a few days and i might actually um what is that Let's have a look, see what that is called again. So, the egg, a layout for creative inspiration and new life. Um, I might have a play with them and see if any of my, um, see if any of my current layouts work with them as well. Um, and I'll also have a play with them to see um, if we can incorporate them with the Greenwich Tarot, the Angels and Ancestors, and maybe use this as an energy for the week um, deck, maybe just pulling one card um, for the star side. I'll see how it goes, but I will keep you updated about it. Thank you for joining me in this unwrapping of the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild and the artistry done by Autumn Sky Morrison. Lovelies, thank you for joining me. It's been a real pleasure to do this for you. Speak to you in the next reading. Bye for now.